Good morning and welcome back to Raccoon Creek Homestead. Today we are going to be up potting a plant. Um, we're going to do pothos. And as you can see, I have my plant that I'm going to take out of this teeny tiny pot that I bought. Um, I've already done one back here. This is what it was in. This is what I put it in. So we're going to do the same thing here. We have our new one. I always do this on newspaper. That way that... Um, if I make a mess, I can just kind of do this and it all stays. And then the pot that I'm going to put it in, um, I have already, I've already got the pot filled with dirt, but not like so full because I'm going to need to work in it, which is why I have my pot on the floor. Sorry about my raptor daughter in the background. <laughs> she is not real impressed that, uh, with her toys right now. So here we go. Okay, so if you go to Walmart, these are like a couple bucks for this plant. And I'll show you here in a minute. They don't give them a lot of pot space for as much plant as you get. So we're just going to slide this off. And if you can see, it's really, really root bound. Like all of this is just root bound. And I always keep the tags. That way I know what um, type I'm dealing with. I do a lot with pothos. This one is the Marble Queen Pothos. If I can get it to... Okay, maybe. So I am just going to take... I'm going to knock all the loose dirt off the top. Just because it's just going to make a mess if I don't. And I'm going to actually take and separate these because they are just... They're so root bound. They need more room. So to do it, I'm just going to take... And just kind of work loose the and I do it really gently and as you can see the dirt just falls right out okay so I think I can very very gently just kind of I just kind of shake it and they come right apart and even this one can come apart Again, and this is why I have the newspaper because I am making a really big mess. All right, so there's two so far. Okay, three. Four. Five. six and seven so I got seven out of this one three inch pot that is too many plants too small things so if you see these it's a great deal if you have the pot oh look I got eight this one's so little um so if you see one that you like that's in the little one I just buy a bigger pot when I get them because I let I have a pot those thing they're really really hard to kill and I mean that from experience. I don't do well keeping plants alive, but I've kept ones like this alive for probably 10 to 15 years. Um, so there's that. Okay, so this one, as you can see, they've got a lot of good roots. And don't feel like you can't cut these. If these have roots down to here, I just cut them. Which, if I find one, I don't think I have any in this one. But we're just going to kind of... Okay, so we're just going to dig in here. I'm going to put it in there the way that I want it. And then just cover it up and kind of pat the... Pat it down. And I start with the biggest ones first. And I really hope that I don't get dirt in my coffee. And sorry about the angle. I actually ordered a um, camera tripod thing and it came and it was missing like the phone holder piece. So I called and they sent me a new one and it was missing it. So I'm just going to have to look and see if I can find a different one. Okay, so like this one, if I don't want this big long piece, I just pinch it with my nail. And like this one, it's kind of hanging off. 
I promise with these you are not going to hurt them. They may look a little sad for a day, but they bounce right back. And then I have extra dirt on the bottom so I can just kind of add it as I need. And like this one, it's got really, really long roots. So I'm just gonna pinch off a little bit. And I mean, it's still got a lot of root for Now I'm just taking all my extra dirt and kind of filling in the holes. Because once you, I always like to kind of heap it a little bit because once you water it, it's going to go, the dirt's going to pack a little bit and you're going to be like, oh, it's not really heaping at all. Okay, the reason why I do this on newspaper is because I can just go like that and then it's easier to grab my hand. But here is my plant now, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is my after since I've watered it. And as you can see, it's really, the dirt's not heaping anymore. It's a little um, empty here. But we went from a 3-inch pot to probably a 6-inch pot. Um, this will fill out really quickly. Um, and if they look kind of sad for... A little bit after they've been transplanted don't worry it's okay they will bounce back um, and like I said I keep the tags and I just put it in the side and I push it almost all the way down that way it doesn't block any of the light but if I want to see it I can just go oh it's the marble queen pothos and then put it back down so like when I go to when these grow out and they'll kind of vine over I'll actually cut them stick them in water let them root and then I'll actually add and I'll fill in this if it hasn't filled in yet but it is super easy. It is not difficult. Um, I mean, this is my entire mess. I got a little, I guess, a little crazy on the dirt. But another reason that we do the newspaper is because we can just fold it up. And I will put this probably in one of my garden beds outside. So I had a little bit of a mess, but overall not too shabby. So this is how you take from one itty bitty pot and you get a big one. Thanks for watching.